I, I'd have to reference it online. I don't know off the top of my head, but it's something like 70% uh, long-term capital gains tax versus 30 short. Whereas if you did it with a stock, it's a hundred percent. What's the biggest frustration perhaps you've seen? It could be in clients with highly appreciated stock or business sales when it comes to capital gains tax deferral. Anything come to mind? Um, I haven't seen too many complaints with it. it it's more with high frequency trading software that's buying and selling every minute or day. Like they're probably getting slammed with taxes, but even if you do different types of instruments, like derivative instruments, they're, they're taxed a bit more beneficial. Even spot FX is taxed a bit more beneficial. I believe it's a 70, 30, like 70%. I, I'd have to reference it online. I don't know off the top of my head, but it's something like 70%. Uh, long-term capital gains tax versus 30 short. Whereas if you did it with a stock, it's a hundred percent. So it's like different asset classes too. Yeah. And by the way, we're speaking with Michael Kelly uh, and he is uh, the managing director of investment science, scientifically sound consulting and investing.